A covalent bond is a bond in which the orbitals of two atoms overlap and an electron pair is shared. We know that atoms form bonds so as to obtain a full valence shell because when their valence shell is not full they are unstable. And so what we can see here in the case of fluorine which has seven valence electrons is fluorine will form a covalent bond with itself and it does that by each atom sharing one of its valence electrons. I have drawn the electrons belonging to each fluorine atom with different symbols so that we can see that each fluorine atom still has its original seven electrons but because they now share that pair of electrons between them each fluorine atom is now surrounded by eight electrons and we say that eight electrons means that the valence shell is now full or we say that the octet rule has been satisfied and fluorine has now formed a covalent bond with itself in order to obtain a full valence shell and it now becomes more stable. This is the Lewis structure and the Cooper structure for this. We denote a single covalent bond with a single line to represent what is called the bonding electron pair where each of these pairs are called lone pairs of electrons. A double bond is also possible where a double bond is formed when each atom in the bond donates two electrons instead of one to be shared and we can see that that happens in the case of oxygen where oxygen has six valence electrons but sharing two pairs of electrons allows each oxygen atom then to be surrounded by eight electrons in total once again satisfying the octet rule we say that oxygen is also a diatomic element and we represent that in Cooper notation by drawing a double line and then a triple bond is also possible where nitrogen is a good example of how a triple bond would be formed where now each atom in the bond gives three electrons and as a result there are sh three shared electron pairs and we say that once again the octet rule is satisfied since each atom has now obtained a full valence shell of eight electrons once again, we know that nitrogen is a diatomic element and we represent that triple covalent bond with three lines in Cooper structure. It is important to note that these types of bonds only happen when the orbitals overlap and as a result, a double bond would be much shorter than a single bond because the atoms need to be closer together to share more electrons and so too a triple bond would be much shorter than a double bond and then the triple bond is the strongest of these three bonds because there are now three pairs of electrons that are holding these atoms together and so we say triple bonds are stronger than double bonds which in turn are stronger than single bonds.